The following video was uploaded by DJ Mix and he states that the security camera in his niece's bedroom has captured quite an eerie encounter. The girl tells her family about her imaginary friend a lot, but of course they never took her stories too serious at first, since having invisible friends is pretty common for many kids. However, after the family noticed more and more strange occurrences to unfold in the residence, they installed several wise security cameras in their home. And this particular night, their young daughters were playing in their bedroom when something rather interesting was captured. It left the family quite baffled. If we take a closer look at it, it would appear that this apparition seems to be of childlike stature at first, coming out of the wall before it moves through one of the young daughters and then shrinks to the size of a buck and just vanishes. They don't believe this to be caused by a reflection coming from the window on the bottom or even spider webs. Is it perhaps the imaginary friend playing with their young daughters? Now it's time to look at the latest upload from user Dino Nuggets, who, like many of you know, used to be living with a pretty scary shadow figure in his house. He tried to cleanse the place several times of this thing, however never succeeded. Even a priest could not rid of it. The only option for him was to move into a new place, to hopefully leave all of this scary activity behind once and for all. Apparently though, shortly after getting settled in his new house, something didn't seem right. Hello? Do you want from me? For the love of God, leave my house, leave me alone! It became clear that Dino is dealing with a more personal haunting here, having this shadow being following him, and also causing mischief in his new home. I'm curious to see how we will be dealing with this activity from here on out.
Are you in the market for an amazing Japanese steel knife set? A big thank you to Kamikodo Knives for sponsoring today's video. Kamikodo is producing durable and razor sharp steel kitchen knives and tap into more than 800 years of traditional techniques from Honju, Japan. Each blade is carefully crafted, perfected and inspected to ensure the highest quality and their steel is directly sourced from Japan. And the best of it all, Kamikodo is so confident about their knives that each knife comes with a lifetime guarantee. Their knives are safely stored in a beautiful heavy duty ashwood box, which not only looks very high quality, but it is also used by Michelin star chefs all over the world. They have a vast array of Japanese steel knives, such as this three-piece Kenpeki knife set, which comes with the Nakiri vegetable knife, the slicing knife, and this very handy utility knife. I still remember opening the Kamikodo knife box myself for the first time. I mean, who wouldn't love to cut their vegetables with this bad boy, am I right? Kamikodo is now running a Black Friday sale and is offering my viewers an extra $50 off on any purchase with discount code KINGFROSTMARE. On top of our special offers, go to kamikodo.com slash kingfrostmare to get your knife set and help support my channel. Now we are following the Foreman brothers once more to the housing of a supposedly haunted sheet company in Ohio. The complex was built in 1918 and was home to many of the sheet company's workers. When the company closed its doors in 1977, many of the 5,000 employees who were impacted by the sudden job loss decided complexes, which many believe to be the reason for the reported paranormal sightings on the old premises. The Foreman brothers set up shop in different buildings and start their nightly investigation shortly after arriving at the scene. When Josh and Sean are investigating by themselves in one of the many derelict buildings, something quite creepy unfolds. By the door, right next behind Sean. My name is Josh. It's like when you're inside, you don't hear anything outside. What's wrong? What the hell did you do? Huh? Why did you scare me like that? What happened? Nothing. What are you doing? Why are you yelling screaming? I wasn't. Did you hear that? I heard someone screaming. Sean was yelling, scream, scream, scream. I was never, I never did. Are you in this house? It is believed that maybe an imposter spirit was trying to get the team's attention as several screams can be heard by the team at different times of the night, even when they were not in close vicinity to each other and separated in different buildings. Very strange. But what's even more, is a really odd capture the team could come up with when interviewing one of the project leaders, Timothy. I for sure have absolutely seen the other side reach out to me. It would appear like an apparition is making its way through the background, and it certainly wasn't easy to see at the time. But how else could we explain this? It does look like a torso though, doesn't it? Maybe one of the lost souls that is still roaming the old factory property. Who can say? The following is an investigation that Dawn has conducted with her son, she tells me. I took a trip to visit my son in Washington State. We planned a trip to Manresa Castle, a beautiful historic hotel. When we first got into our room, the chandelier was swaying slightly, even though all the windows were closed. My son rented a room that was right below the attic room, that according to 1920s. I didn't see it at the time, but days later I was reviewing my footage after I got home and couldn't believe my eyes what we caught in the mirror. <gasps> Thank you so much. 
I saw you! I saw you! I saw you. Oh no, I went back. It went up a little bit. No, you're doing like a whipping sound. Like... Yeah, when it goes, when it beeps, it did it. Is this the monk or is this the fiance that has the broken heart? This is a quite significant recording, as it would appear that a shadow apparition is responding intelligently to Dawn's and Israel's questions and acknowledges that they could hear it via their spirit box. I find the movement of this shadow is quite similar to the recordings of the Lamb House, which is why I believe this video to be real. Could it be the monk or perhaps another restless spirit that was communicating with the two? Certainly quite intriguing, I find. What do you think? I saw you. I saw you. Oh no, I went back. It went up a little bit. The next video was uploaded by the Spanish channel Breakman, and there was a video submitted by one of his viewers. Apparently, their CCTV camera had captured quite the chilling event unfold. The factory they work in is said to be extremely haunted for a very long time already, and shadow people apparently can be seen ever so often. Today something really creepy unfolded in the back of the factory, and a security guard had noticed it. Yes, you see that right. A dark shadow arm seems to be coming out of the tiny door space to the right and moving along the door. This is most definitely impossible, not to mention the heavy weight of the door, which is taking one of the employees quite a bit of force to open. It's one of the many creepy encounters in this factory that is unfolding on the regular. How can we explain it though? The space between the frame and the door is so small that nothing could be slid through easily to fake this video. So what's your explanation for this? More than a little bit unsettling I find, and thanks again to Breakman for sharing this encounter with us. The following is an eerie CCTV recording, which was captured in a hospital in Buenos Aires, Argentina, and it was all over the news. At 3.30 in the morning, a receptionist can be seen getting out of the chair and, based on his reports, greeting an elderly woman that was coming through the door. And we do in fact notice how the automatic door is opening. The unsettling part, however, is that there is no trace of anybody entering. The man walks towards the entrance, detaches the security tape and writes down the patient info. After finishing up, he seems to let the invisible person pass through and guides them towards the back of the hospital. Only moments later, another CCTV camera captures how the same receptionist is getting a wheelchair which is stored right next to the elevators. He offers it to the invisible lady, but is seemingly getting rejected, causing him to return the wheelchair. As the hours go by, the man is wondering if the elderly woman got picked up after losing sight of her for quite some time. After checking, the hospital staff told him that they have not admitted anybody around that time and that nobody saw the elderly lady he was speaking of. They check the patient registration and, get this, it turns out that the info belonged to a woman who had deceased the day prior. Oh. 
So, was the man talking to a ghost here? How scary. Now we are taking a look at another unsettling recording, which was initially recorded by the CCTV camera of a company. The girl in this video is explaining to us that the parking garage in particular to pretty frightening sightings and noises, especially at night, when she and her colleague are on their way to their cars after their shifts. They have seen strange shadow people walking the empty garage and even report to have heard their names being called amongst other inexplicable noises. One of the security guards, however, might have caught one of these beings on the security systems one night, which freaked the whole staff out, to say the least. Chequen esto, porfa. Y ahorita les anexo la evidencia. Mira, cabrón, eso que chingados es. Es un pinche nave. It's quite hard to explain what we are seeing here, but some commenters believe that it looks like a floating torso, which is ducked forward a bit and floating past the elevator doors. The security staff does not believe this to be a light reflection or cobwebs of any sort, and also point out that this thing seems to have super tiny legs or thighs or whatever that's supposed to be. A paranormal entity, perhaps, without any doubt, believe most of the staff. What's your explanation for this sighting? Quite mysterious. And given all the other weird incidents in the parking garage, it makes one wonder if this is real ghostly activity that they have captured here. The following encounter was shared by Kimberly Carlyle. And she tells us that this October, their camera, which is mounted outside of their porch and overseeing the driveway, might have captured something otherworldly. Capturing bugs fly past the lens is nothing extraordinary, but this night they apparently have received a motion alert, saying that a person was standing in front of their door. After rewatching the replay, they state that they were quite a bit speechless. It would appear that something is manifesting right next to the car, something that does certainly look quite a bit odd. The family had no explanation for this occurrence and had never seen anything like it. If this was hot air, where would it have originated from? Some say they can see the spirit of a woman with a child ghost floating right below her. Perhaps a nanny holding the hand of a child. The following clip was shared by Mojito and he tells us that the man recording this noticed a strange moving cloud in the sky that appeared to be illuminating lights. He had never seen anything like it and decided to record immediately. It's a cloud with lights in it. Moving weird. I've never seen that. Yeah. Cloud with sparkly lights in it. I've never seen it like that. Moving weird. See the sparkling lights in it. No. 
never seen no like this in my life. A lot of people speculate that this is one of the many UFO encounters that people can experience ever so often. Do you think that's the case here? Or do you have a better explanation for it? Whatever the answer, quite intriguing footage.